Kia ora koto. Welcome everybody to the Alpine Ice Sports and Entertainment Center. We're uh, here this afternoon to broadcast the uh, Botany Swarm and the Canterbury Red Devils. We're uh, sorting through a couple of technical issues here as we get started. The audio didn't quite start when we wanted it to. Uh, we just got note from the uh, communications director. Thank you, Virginia. And you probably are hearing us at this point, hopefully. Yeah, everything's good. Thank you, Virginia, appreciate that. <laughs> it's uh, always fun when the communications director comes running down the uh, from the uh, press box and starts waving frantically at you. So we'll start over again on all of this. But in the meantime, uh, I mean, we had a good conversation, just you and I. But uh, That's it, yeah. yeah. It was how it goes. So uh, Kyle and I are going to get started here. Uh, we're going to do a little kind of almost podcast style in order to catch up as everything gets going here. But uh, uh, Dalimore or Eden uh, Brown and Nichols to start for the Red Devils, and we are underway. The uh, Swarm trying to get that first face off and puck right out immediately. That's actually a dangerous spot. Uh, Sean Brown putting it just over the boards near the bench. Uh, of course, that's not a penalty in this situation. It was pretty low, but uh, nonetheless, a faceoff coming on the offensive side of things for the Swarm. That's definitely something that I was uh, looking at myself being up here in the booth thinking, is a puck going to come up and uh, uh, give us a how do you do? It, it might. It, it has <laughs> in the past. I have been hit. I will say that. Uh, didn't tell you that before the broadcast, Kyle. No. So, uh, so it's always a good thing to throw the rookie in head first, right? <laughs> That's how it works. <laughs> or swinging it around the backside. Brown pushing it forward, trying to get that out to neutral. And... Uh, that's knocked around. Eden's trying to hold on to it, but he can't. And that's going to be the first shift for the uh, Devils getting uh, Pospisil out. Good to see him on the ice finally this year. And uh, the Devils looking to move through neutral ice. They get it out to, uh, well, just to the blue line. It's turned right back around. It's uh, Johnson with it, or Johansson, excuse me. Right out in front, but uh, Nichols with it and pushes it back out to neutral. So that's a tired that's a tired Kyle Johnson there on that rush. He'd been out for a minute or so. Yeah, he hadn't made that change. Atwell tracks it down. It goes out towards the uh, slot area, but it's pulled out. And uh, it was um, Pospisil doing another good job clearing the puck. And it goes back around the uh, Canada goal. Trying to hold it in on the point, but turn it goes right over a skate and two on one developing shot and a big save. That is a huge save. Uh, Delmato with a, a good shot, but a tough angle. And he had a spot, but it's a, a, another good save by Dan Reason. That's a great pass by Kozak over to his buddy Stepanak. He doesn't miss those very often. And now <clears throat> Harry Lowe's got it and he's gonna move around the backside and Puck comes back out to Scheiss, uh, show He's going to get it into the zone. Perver with it on that third line. Knocked into uh, Matt Canada. And Canada puts his glove on it to make sure the play stops there. So we missed a little bit on the, uh, uh, on the transition there with the audio. Uh, Kyle, I was saying earlier, Matt Canada is an early MVP candidate for the league. Yes, absolutely. He has been standing on his head back there definitely uh, what we're looking for out of a goaltender in the yeah. first, first begin, uh, and, beginning of the season here. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, responsible for a couple of your very important wins. The, uh, the other, I believe it was uh, Grace Harrison had a couple of, of wins as well. So you guys have had a very stable uh, goaltending group. Yeah. So it's uh, going to be a, a tough ask here for the Red Devils this afternoon. Perver gets to it, but he's going to chase that puck as it goes around the back board. Knocked around. Saisho digging it around, but turned back over to Dalmato. He throws it all the way in, no icing there. Mason Reese to collect. And he's sent aside for just a moment. And uh, let's see, who was that? That was Winston Lee with an opportunity, but he couldn't get that shot off against Dan Reason. And the puck continues around the side boards. Really nice to see Jackson Fontaine back out on the ice. That was a scary injury there. 
few weeks ago, so really good to see him back out there. A couple of good shots by the Swarm, and yes, it is good to see him out there. Uh, unfortunately, we have to see him in Swarm colors <laughs> as he has uh, started his university trek and uh, now plays for Botany. For yes. the, so for those of you that are unfamiliar, he did trade teams, and that is him uh, over on the uh, Swarm side. What number is he wearing right now? He is wearing 11? number 11, I yeah, believe. Yeah, he was the number 10, but uh, he's 11 now for the Swarm. For those of you keeping track at home, Bortnov with it in the corner, looking out to the blue line, off to Thriller. Thriller gets his uh, pocket pick. Dallimore with it up the left side, flips it across, or can't get to it in the slot. Good pass, but just not quite connecting there. And back around the Swarm go. That's uh, Mawson with the uh, flow, trying to get it out. He's a big man back there and a stalwart on defense for yeah, the Swarm. Definitely nice to have a big long reach like that out there. Long levers as they say. Yes. And the Swarm hold on to it and try to start possession here that's knocked around in neutral. Dan Nichols, the uh, opposing uh, opposite of Mawson. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, he throws it in and goes all the way behind the cage. Not like him to get too deep like that, but uh, he was chasing the puck as a uh, couple of Red Devils were changing. And uh, that's going to be uh, Josh Lowe collecting in the back. And Nichols with it, looking for the pass. Neutral ice going up through, and that's the new import with the shot there. That's Nick Lang. Nick Lang's going to be a name that everybody's going to need to get used to. Uh, from Czechia, join the club this week. And that's Nick out there. He's a uh, fast skater, plays professionally uh, in Bulgaria, and chose to do the offseason with us. So welcome Nick Lang, our, uh, one of our imports. And we'll talk about imports in a little bit here too. Yes, absolutely. Uh, Nick, trying to go one on five. I mean, he's good, but uh, the uh, league is pretty good. Kozak with a shot, pass reason off target. Kozak follows it in, looking for the uh, reach. And knocked out in the slot, good defense. Uh, Sice show with it for just a moment, and it's two on two. And Lang couldn't get it to Sice show and it's held up neutral. Sysho lets it go as he was off sides. The Red Devils get a change. And Andrew Hay sends it in. That's another change. There's no Hay brothers anymore on the Swarm. Uh, Ollie's playing for the uh, Admirals now, so anytime you see a Hay, it is Andrew. Yes, and Andy was saying he's excited to be able to take the A Hay off his jersey <laughs> and just be the only Hay on the roster. That's right. <laughs> Good for him. And the uh, Swarm hold on to it in neutral and swing it around. Reese gets to it first though, and Nichols holds it, passes it forward to, to Sysho. He's uh, been out there for a little while, and that's turned over. And that goes back to uh, Winston Lee clearing it. And Fontaine swinging it around. Dallimore back out on the ice with Brown top line for the Devils. And Brown has to go back and collect it. A lot of uh, good action here. Not a lot of stops so far, just one so far, and Lawson with it. Good play by Vortnov here not to touch that. That could have been a too many men penalty. Yeah, it was, see, that's that's why having a player on the uh, color commentary and quality <laughs> assurance is so important. So we continue on here. Orr's got it in the corner. He flips it backwards. Great pass back to uh, Sean Brown. And Dallimore looks to get it out. Off to Orr. Orr's going to come up the middle. Tries to get some speed through, but he's turned over. Hopkinson has it. And he gets behind Dallimore, around Dallimore. Funny bounce, but out to the middle. And Dueler can't clear it. Eden gets, gets a turnover looking for a cross ice pass to Dallimore, but that's deflected. Dallimore out to Brown on the point, and he, Brown can't hold it in. Offsides is the call. So uh, a lot of action. That gas pedal pushed down hard. Yeah, the, the gas pedal, that's, a, that's <laughs> exactly right. So we've got Lang to take this one here. Nick Lang on the faceoff dot, wins it. Takes it right in the zone, shot. And Canada's got to look at something, go right by him. I'm pretty sure he saw it, but uh, that's a speedy shot. And uh, Pospisil knocks it right out in front. But that is collected by the Swarm. It's Simon coming up the right side. Pushes it up. And nice out pass. in front oh. and a goal. Atwell gets left alone. And uh, unfortunately for the Devils, that is uh, the end of the streak for Dan Reason. Atwell with a goal. We'll see if we can play this back here in just a second. But uh, just great vision by number 12, Peter Stepanak, just to find that pass there. 
Yeah, I don't have a, a little zoomed out there, but that, that Stepanak getting that pass off the boards, and uh, that, uh, that causes some confusion in the defense, and 1-0 the score for the Swarm now. Oh. Fontaine with a good pass. That actually was uh, to Koptev, and Koptev couldn't pull the trigger there. Another quick opportunity for the Swarm looking to make their mark on this first period. That goes out to neutral. Fontaine skates it back in. Koptev was close there, but onside. A little bit of a trip there on Perver out in the middle. That's shot all the way in. No icing because it was on net. And the Devils hold on to it as they try to get their sea legs and get caught up here in this uh, afternoon's battle. That is offside, so they're gonna hold on to it. Fontaine didn't cross the uh, blue line in time. Smart play just to hang on to keep the puck there instead of just dumping it in, going for a change, tried to keep possession of the puck. Definitely a heads up play there. Yeah, that, uh, that offside was uh, <clears throat> kind of an un unnecessary one in a way. I mean, Fontaine had hold held up and then uh, and it just gets walked in afterwards. So. Another face-off coming here. And, oh, they're gonna bring it to the oh. other side. Whoops. <laughs> Everybody's on the wrong side except the linesman. How That's does that it. happen? Hopkinson to take against Orr. That's whistled uh, for Johnson not being uh, not being far enough back from that no, dot. Trying to jump in a little bit early. And Dallimore ends up with that puck. Good play by Hopkinson in the middle there. Yeah, and back and forth we go in neutral. Who's got that? That would be uh, Cooler is looking for the long pass. He gets it. Great pass. Oh. And sent behind. That's uh, uh, Reason just trying to make sure that nothing gets in front of him again, and, and rightfully so because uh, Hopkinson was sitting right behind the net and no defender near him. Again, just the patience of Thuler there. Again, could have just dumped it in, but decided to hold on and wait for something to open up for him. And another face-off win for the Devils. It's been a uh, bright spot so far in uh, what has been a uh, swarm period thus far. And as they cycle back through, so is that Borton off oh, with nice it behind? Tip. Yeah, up to Johnson. He can't uh, do anything with it. Long pass up to Dallimore. He's going to get a chance here, Oof. and that is, uh, I'm not sure what kind of defense that was by Mawson, but. Uh, the bowling ball effect worked. That's it. I think that was the old trip over the blue line play there. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it did, it got Dallimore off the uh, <clears throat> off the puck just enough to uh, stop everything. And now they're fighting right in between there. And Pospisil grabs it in the corner. Back behind to Eden. Pospisil with a quick wrister. Canada up to it. Out to low. Long shot in. Nice save through traffic. And a pass out to the blue line. That's out to Lowe again. He's going to hold on to it, to Eden, to Lowe. A long one looking for a deflection and gets a deflection, just not on net. And Harry Tappan's going to hold on to the puck in neutral, flip it in, and get a change. Uh, Lachlan Hodge out, uh, the uh, teenager sensation who got the game winner last time. Uh, he's taking his first shift on the ice. And Swarm get ready to uh, set up their offense with Stepanik looking for that long pass he gets it gains the blue line two on three hopkins pushes him out a shot in it and reason's gonna want that one back that is a goal for the swarm kind of five hold him it was a, a great fake is really what that was i don't think he was expecting that pass to come through there i think it went through about four people's feet it did yeah and we'll take a look at that the uh, the goal Coming across, let's just see if the uh, pass, see the long pass coming across the game, the bl uh, blue line. Okay, Michael Atwell comes from way, way behind to get into position there, and a great pass again by Peter Stepanak. And Atwell makes it 2-0, and there's a quick discussion across the way. Uh, I'm not really sure what that's, that's about, do you no, know? No, I'm not sure. I didn't notice anything behind the plate. I didn't think it was offside on the entry there. I'm not sure what... Uh, what the boys in the stripes are, th yeah, are there seeing there. A little conversation, but Atwell in the faceoff dot again. And the Devils get the puck after the faceoff once again, trying to do something with it. Slyshow with a pass out in front. Kennedy just a comfortable kick save. And the uh, swarm set up in that back corner. 
So I have to give in. credit to the Red Devils. That's after two goals, that first shift after a goal, they're aggressive right off the hop again, getting into the offensive zone, trying to turn the tides again. And that has been a thing that they uh, have lacked in the last couple of years. So it, that's a very good observation that they, uh, it's a long game ahead. It's still a it first is. period. It is the first period. Side show with a low shot that hits a shin and comes right back out. Kozak gets it up the right side. He's going to gain the line. Takes a shot deflected off low. That stays in play. I don't, wasn't sure that was going to stay in, but it did. Flipped up, and Nichols hits that, hits the glass. That's deflected, and that is out. So let's take a quick look here at the, uh, let's see if we can, we'll, we'll get Hydra up here in just a minute. We'll uh, take a look at the stats on that. I don't have it. Uh, quite set up for the uh, summary, the live stats yet. Should have checked that one, it wasn't live beforehand. And is that Eden out there? No, that was Orr and he wins another one. It, it, it's funny, you don't get points for uh, face-offs, but if they did, it's a pretty even game. That's it, and they they're so seen... valuable to win that face-off and start with the puck, it makes such a huge difference. Yeah, Eden with a shot and Canada just kicks it aside. It was a big rebound, but there's oh. nobody on the other side. Nice it, check there, could have been a little bit late, but we're gonna play on. And Josh Lowe knocks it through, and it's considered offsides. That was uh, Tim Thomas that was a little bit too quick on it. A couple of uh, Red Devils that were not in the uh, West Auckland trip getting some playing time here so far. So that's, um, that's interesting to see the uh, lineup shuffle early and strength at the swarm. Obviously, you can only tra obviously you can only travel so you can only travel so many players. Correct. Yeah. So uh, it's almost like a double shift immediately. So the uh, Red Devils need to get up to speed with the uh, top lines of the swarm here. Hopkinson uh, works hard and gets that puck out of the defense. That's turned right around. Johnson has it. Brown. Kind of knocking him aside, but he gets a shot off, and that misses the target. Stays in. Thuler trying to hold it in at the point, but he can't do it. And it's back to neutral with Thuler. Thuler's going to bring it right back in. Look for Mawson. Mawson oh. tries to get something. He is a little, kind of a tricky little saucer shot there, but uh, not both quite on defense, target. Both defensemen up there on that one. Yeah, that was uh, a very big overcommit but right now the uh, Red Devils aren't turning it uh, around fast enough to make it count and that's giving them effectively a, a man advantage maybe even two every time they get down the offensive side. Sysho up on the right side against Mawson he's double teamed. Mawson gets through him goes around the cage holds on to it looks for a pass that goes back to uh, Fortinoff. Fortinoff gets it out in front but Mawson can't pull the trigger and back out to neutral. Sandoy with it and a whole bunch of people over the boards here, so uh, fresh legs on the ice for both sides. Smart play by, Ro by Robin Vortinoff, just get it deep, get that change. They've been out there a while. Sysho passes it forward to Perver. Perver sends it around. It goes all the way around, but uh, didn't quite get to the corner and gets right back to the swarms. That's Sandoy again that uh, puts it out to the uh, neutral zone. Reese with it, passing it around, and up to Perver. Perver's not able to hold on to it, turns it over. One on three, Kozak with it, shot and a goal. A turnover in short ice, and Kozak buries it for the third goal for the Swarm this afternoon. Let's take a look at that. At the, uh, let's see if we get the turnover here. The, uh, the turnover is the big one, and uh, not quite. Nope, missed that one. So, uh, yeah, sorry about that, folks. Uh, we'll, we'll do better, but uh, yeah, that was a third goal for the uh, Swarm by Kozak. That's a typical Kozak drag and release, quick snap. Uh, practicing with him, I know it hurts when it hits. So <laughs> it is a heavy shot, isn't it? Is it is a heavy shot, and it's deadly. Another turnover, and it's gonna be another two on two. A pass across, and that's deflected away by Dalimore looking for uh, Who's that in number 11? I didn't have them. That, that's that's Jackson Fontaine. Fontaine. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Uh, I don't know why he didn't show up on the uh, sheet there. I looked down and uh, caught me by surprise, but he probably just bought that dirt. <laughs> or with it, shot up at Canada's ear. Goes Weird bounce. over. Weird Funny bounce. bounce. Yeah. Stanchion, yeah. And uh, comes back, but uh, the Swarm handle it. Hay knocks it forward. Good pass, but it was offsides. Apparently, Fontaine was ahead of that one. And Good call by the official there. We'll get a stop in play. Red Devils Hockey brought to you by the Beely Quarter. 
Southern Hospitality made central. Face off on the, uh, in the neutral zone again. Johnson being told to get back, as is Pospisil. And Brown with it. Up to Nick Lang. Lang throws it forward. Good to get the puck behind the net, but uh, the Red Devils unable to uh, steal it away from the swarm, and they get it back out to neutral and get things started again. Good hit against Thuler. And Nichols has it behind the boards. Funny bounce again. I think that actually hit the door just slightly. I think so, too. And Nick Lang with it. Up and forward to Lang. Oh, he faked a big bomb there. Got by Mawson. He's going to hold on to the puck again. And Pospisil with a good shot but a hard angle. Kennedy holds on to it and holds up play. So for me, uh, again, from a, the perspective of it's an early game, three goals is pretty fast, but it's it's starting to get to this point where you're seeing momentum holding on and taking its effect for the Swarm. It's definitely one of those things where you want to start early, but there's a lot of hockey left to be played, so you don't want to get too high either, right? And that puck comes out to neutral again by the Swarm. They throw it forward. Atwell's going to chase it down. There he is, coming around, kind of digging that out. And back to the uh, blue line that's sent around. Nice hard right check out in there. Front. Yeah, that's uh, back to Simon at the blue line. Sent in through Saisho. Reason didn't see it, and he decides that he wants to hold up on the puck there. So uh, <clears throat> probably a good decision to uh, hold up momentum for the, uh, for the time being. But... Uh, uh, I would, I have to say, Dan Reason, I mean, this, this feels more like the first game when he got pulled more than the uh, second game where he didn't. So some adjustments need to be made. It's going to be interesting in the, uh, in the locker room for the Red Devils. They're going to have to make some very quick adjustments on the fly. The Swarm are playing very well. Thrown in and behind Canada. Swarm get a hold of it with a good shot by Saisho, but the puck comes back out. And... Harry Lowe had it for just a moment, but he had too many swarm around him. I guess they swarmed around him, sorry. <laughs> and Dallimore with it, yep. I'll be here all day. That's it, sometimes it's there, you gotta take it. Yeah, so, well, I'm the commentator, just the uh, regular old potato sometimes. So, <laughs> uh, <coughs> turned around it. Well, was Eden with a good wrist on target. That's probably the most, it's probably the most effective uh, offense they've had for a couple of minutes. You can and definitely feel the temperature of the game rising, the physicality starting to get up there. The checks are a little bit harder. The players are trying to get that, get back into the game, and it's uh, you can feel it. Yeah, and you can feel the frustration by the Red Devils. And honestly, I don't blame them because they have been uh, outworked here this entire period. And outside the faceoff dot, once you start to play, the Swarm have been uh, they've been holding a vast majority of the possession, and that's not going to win you many hockey games. Sandoy with it behind the net. Lots of changes here. Uh, oh. Fontaine and Hopkinson out. But Reese with it, or uh, sorry, uh, Eden with it. Some good work there and a oh. big rebound. A good shot, but uh, Dallimore couldn't get it on his stick to get that off, and the uh, swarm come all the way back. That was some great puck protect protection by Eden to create something out of nothing. Yeah, he held that for a long time and uh, dangled it. Uh, yeah. But now Fontaine with it. And that's going to come out of the zone. Two on three. Looking forward to uh, Nichols. Nichols is in the corner here. And sent right back out. And that's kicked in. Uh, and Hay with it. And a couple more changes for the Devils. And the Swarm looking to get something going again. Brown with it. Brown waiting to clear the zone here. Gets a pass to center ice. Up to Lang, Lang with it. Lang's shot deflected and out of play. Majors contracting a 2023 20, supporter of the Red Devils. Thank you, Majors contracting, for your support. And we'll get right back to the game. Some fast faceoffs here, as always. Perver to take this one against, I think it's Atwell again. Yes. It's good to have that confirmation, I'll tell you. 
And the Swarm worked that out of their zone. Up to uh, Stepanek with it. And that comes out. So he's going to send it back in. That stays in. Just barely hits the glass. The Swarm check up. And they are back in the offensive zone for just a minute. The puck came out. And then Kozak ins and outs and ins and outs. And Lawson looking to dump here. He takes a shot, actually, at Reason. Reason gloves it down and continues play. Reese gets dumped up to Saisho, and that does get out. Herbert trying to take it up. Herbert gets a big hit. I'm not even sure if he did. Might have hit a stick there off the bench. Well, I think the swarm were about to change, and good thing that door stayed closed. That could have yeah. spelt trouble. And right out in front, and another goal. Stefanik with a shot and a goal in transition. And as Reason was pushing to the side, just another miss on the uh, upper corner. And the Swarm showing a fantastic display of skill thus far in the first period. Let's see if we can see that shot there. And it goes back out. Yep, shot right over the uh, right side to uh, Reason. And 4-0 the score. And this one quickly getting away from the Red Devils here. Uh, It'll be, again, it'll be very interesting if they can even just hold this out to four because there, there's a, a little over a minute to go. And, um, well, a minute and a half to go here, and they really can't give up a fifth goal. This thing could be over before it started. Back out to neutral, Winston Lee gets hit by Sean Brown, but that puck doesn't come out. Fontaine collects it right out in front, and a goal! Yes. That was a frustration goal with... Everybody looking to uh, extract some uh, some physicality, and yeah. they forgot the puck. Absolutely, yes. Everyone's trying to throw the body out there, but at the end of the day, you got to get that little black thing over the line, and that's exactly what the Swarm were able to do. That yeah, pass right out in front, and uh, just a fantastic goal for the uh, Botany Swarm looking to, uh, well, they have certainly made their mark thus far. Uh, Oh, goaltending change for the Red Devils as well oh, there. Did, uh, thanks for spotting that, Niall Fanning back out there as I'm staring at the uh, center ice. That's a, that's a very important change. It is exactly like uh, what we saw on the Saturday game, uh, the very first game that the Red, Red Devils played. It was 9-4, to four, uh, sorry, 9-3 to three for the uh, Admirals, and it just, it just looked a lot like this with uh, Reason giving up four goals in the first. Now he's giving up five. And, Gets the hook early. Shot in front, kicked away. An excellent opportunity. Uh, and then it goes over to Pospis, so he can't get anything on it. Just a slightly off pass. Now tapping with it. Shot Canada with a blocker save. Goes into the corner. That goes out to the blue line. Tapping knocks it around. And quickly snapped away. And the Red Devils trying to get something on the board in the last 30 seconds. Turned over three on two. Swarm hold up, looking for a pass. That goes into the corner. And a sharp angle pass, and I think Fanning's got it in his equipment there. And he does indeed, it was a glove save. So uh, a, probably just a good positional save, we'd say yes. there, but uh, he did hold on to it and needed to. Yes, especially for your first shot, first shot of the game coming in a little bit cold. Yeah, hi, how are you? Here's some uh, hot rubber coming right at you. And it's, uh, <laughs> It really is tough for Fanning to walk into the game like this, but uh, he's going to have a lot to play for coming up in just a few seconds left in this period. Knocked around at neutral. Atwell with it, and that's going to do it. Kyle, I, um, I haven't seen them lose a period like this in quite a while. This is... Uh, that was clinical by the Swarm, absolutely clinical. Five goals, five nothing, they give up nothing, they hold the puck. I, I mean, really, like I said, the only, I, I only am picking on the faceoffs because it's the only thing they didn't complete. To go in, didn't like what he saw. You know, very common just to dump it in and try to start a four check, but nothing wrong with keep staying calm. Let's regroup and you see him gesturing to his teammates. Boys, let's get back, let's reset. Let's play the game how we want to instead yeah. of just giving it away. Yeah, and you can kind of tell it, it, it's, a, it's a different level, I think, that he's playing at, and the rest of the, the guys are trying to catch up and figure things out and uh, sort it out. But 
Honestly, you just don't have time right now. The uh, the Swarm are just playing too well. They already have uh, four games in the in their uh, back pocket, and they're looking very squarely at a 5-0 and start. That's uh, it's a tough thing to chase down and to be realistic about it. Uh, you know, I, you've been – actually, let me uh, pull up the standings here. Let me see if it's got the um, – there we go. So the uh, standings thus far are, uh, well, it's been going relatively uh, perfectly for the Swarm. Like I said, the uh, the four wins thus far. Queenstown with a perfect record but just playing twice. And the Admirals, they have um, uh, five games under their belts with two wins, one of them against the, uh, against the Thunder. And that is uh, really kind of just making this – could be a you know a, a two-horse race between the Admirals and the Devils coming in for that third playoff position, but right now I can't see any situation where you know these two teams playing this well. The Swarm, I mean, I just remember last year. I don't know if you were in the building or not, but I just it was the 12th game I think for the Red Devils, and they had um, they had just put the Swarm out of what was a tight situation for the playoffs and. Yeah. They, they had the opportunity, they had, the, they had a, if they had had a run, they would have gotten themselves in. They just needed to win the games that were in front of them and they didn't do it. I can't, Im I just, it boggles me to see how different this team is from the team that we saw last year in that situation. Anything that you can tell me about what's changed? I think ultimately it starts with the leadership. It's definitely a top-down approach, right, from our coaching staff right through to Andy Hay wearing the C, our assistant captains, but even guys that aren't wearing letters. You know, I look at a Matt Canaday, I look at an Andre Kozak, uh, guys like that that are just leaders in the room that are really helping to mentor the young, the young players and even mentor myself, you know, as a rookie coming in. Um, it's nice to be able to lean on those guys. You know, Remy Sandoy, another guy to mention. Um, which again, really nice to have those guys just to help to help the younger players. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So uh, I think we'll, we'll take a, a, just a short break here while we uh, go through the Zamboni. It's pretty loud anyways. <laughs> but uh, we'll be back with you in just a few minutes, and uh, we'll talk more hockey when we get back. Thanks, everybody. Do you know why I think of good cars after every training session? Because, 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 because. Because good cars helped me find the perfect car. Good people, good service, good cars. If you have a project that needs access or material that needs moving, we have the solution for you. Access Solutions and Forklift Solutions have got the products, the people and the passion to solve even the most complex access and material handling challenges. 
proudly Kiwi-owned and operated, Access Solutions is New Zealand's leading specialist in providing hire, lease, sales and servicing of access equipment, forklifts and aluminium scaffolding. Whatever the problem, we've got the solution. Ref gets set to puck drop as we go. Canterbury wins that draw, puts it off the glass. That's Dallimore. Make alterations to their lineup. Admirals Ooh. collide to, into one another as uh, players collide there, Taylor and Sebastian Steven. Beneficial bounces for the Admirals, uh, and they made the most of them trying to get a good shot on. They run into each other. He oh, kind of leaps oh, at yeah, him, yeah, like, yeah. just dives at him by accident. Like I, he lost his footing? Yeah, I, I don't. I mean, that's. Trying to get it out of the zone, they do. That's Ben Taylor, one on one here, shot, and that's blocked by the skate of the defenseman. Put a shot on net, that hits the side of the goal, 
And the Admirals crash the net, but, and the Admirals led by Daigle. Wearing the C again this year. Ellis in the middle of the heart, shot, saved by reason. That was a great setup there on the three on two, with a good high slot chance. Yeah, Matchup yesterday. Yeah, and who scored and when. Yep. So here we are, a two on two. Good speed here by Orr as he gets a great backhand shot off. The puck is still loose, no whistle. Gavin Croft has it somewhere. That's the Luke Tappen. Puts it in front, good trust there up to Orr. And a three on one shaping up, Orr elects to shoot and he gets a great scoring chance but that is swallowed up by Croft. That puck had eyes going low blocker. Way around that because the one thing you'd want to see Cor uh, uh, Coach Corzon is getting his top one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, running the line with Owen. Welcome back everybody. Jenna Koto from the Alpine Ice Sports and Entertainment Center. It looks like uh, a little bit of an opportunity to uh, show off the skills of the under 12s here. Perhaps some future Red Devils some, in there. Some future, everybody's in there. That's future it. Ice Blacks, all that good stuff, but uh, you yeah. never do know. You never know. The so. Swarm would be happy to have any of them. <laughs> the, uh, uh, today, we uh, just read something for you. The, uh, today we have the uh, players from the Canterbury Ice Hockey Association Under 12 Super League competing during the intermission with the Flash in the red jerseys taking on the Panthers in the black jerseys. The, uh, most of the players in this game uh, started playing ice hockey just within the past year. And both goalies are trying the uh, position for the first time today. So well done to all the players here and especially the two between the pipes. I uh, should mention that the uh, Canterbury Ice Hockey Association has a learn to play program that offers a free trial session, gear included, for children interested in giving it a go. And by the way, good hit there by the uh, Panthers player. Uh, to uh, learn more, just Google uh, Canterbury Ice Hockey Association and visit the website, which is uh, ciha.org.nz to arrange a free session. You know, this is how it starts for everybody, so, uh, so that good on them, and you gotta get people into the, the sport uh, men and ladies, uh, yes. we are, we have a fantastic women's program. We uh, and I'll be doing the uh, Inferno games later on this year when those come up here at the Alpine Ice. But in the meantime, let's enjoy a little bit of the uh, the uh, under 12s here. Say, and, uh, just to ahead. jump back to those yeah. learn to play, they're an absolute blast. I'm fortunate enough to volunteer and help out with the Auckland Ice Hockey Association's learn to plays. So, folks, if you're thinking of coming out, come out and do it. Yeah. It is more than a blast it's fantastic i'm yeah. so happy to be able to be a part of that yeah and it's kind of nice to the uh, blue pucks out there they uh, don't hurt quite as much <laughs> no the uh it gives them a good chance to get started and, and a goal number 18 for the panthers so Put anybody who's tried to drop a blue puck will know those things like to bounce like tennis balls yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly they're they're good to practice with as far as keeping uh possession but uh, yes yeah uh sometimes the ice around here just makes it look like a blue puck so uh, <clears throat> I guess uh, before everybody gets back here, uh, Kyle, the, uh, there's not a whole lot more. To, ooh, that, that was a good wrist. Dude. That was a very Sorry. good wrist shot. Yeah, not, uh, not a whole lot uh, more needs to be said, really, between uh, this game. The only real question is, are the Red Devils going to make a game of this, or is it over mentally? And are they going to start having to play uh, other players and uh, you know, get some development going because right now 5-0 looks uh, like a very big hill to climb. It is a big hill, but it's not an impossible hill. I mean, myself as a Leafs fan, we all remember 2011. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm sorry to bring it back, Dad. I know you're probably watching at home. Sorry. <laughs> what was but it, 2004 until yeah. this year? <laughs> That's yeah. it. We got one. It's okay. You, you got one. <laughs> but it's not an impossible hill. Um, now the Red Devils have to do a better job of dealing with the speed of the Swarm. Um, the Swarm are, at this moment, just a little bit faster, more aggressive. Um, and that the Red Devils, I think, can do a better job of dealing with that. Then they might be able to help right that ship a little bit. And on the Swarm's end, keep going. Keep, keep playing with speed, keep playing aggressive, keep playing physical. Um, and stay patient, you know, as we see the chances can come. Um, and just kind of stick to it. But if uh, the Red Devils can deal with that, 
with that speed, I think that's going to make a big difference. Yeah, I agree with you on that. There's speed, and then there's also, you know, <clears throat> I think thus far, Canada hasn't faced anything tough. Uh, no. He's not going to give up easy goals. That's just not his MO. He, easy no. goals, not his thing. So they have to get good quality shots in, and I think that's what's been missing because, like you said, there's been some entries into the, into the zone, good play, and some good cross-ice passing thus far, but nothing difficult facing Canada, and they really need to get a switch and move things around so that the uh, uh, Canada is challenged by what they're throwing at him. Absolutely. Everything seems to be, all their shots seem to be from outside the dots. And like you say, Canada is going to be able to make those saves. Um, I would venture to guess to say that every goalie in this league can save something from outside the dots. So they need to look to get into those dangerous areas to then test them. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, congratulations to the uh, CIHA players here, even the little guys. That, well, that uh, number 13 from the flash is definitely under 12, that's for sure. But uh, <laughs> those are the... Uh, those are those that you just, you never know they're, when they're coming because they're fast, fast, fast skaters and uh, you can make a living out skating people in this sport, so. Absolutely. Uh, so we're gonna get back to uh, some second period action here in just a bit. Uh, it's interesting seeing the linesman kind of just jumping on the pipe, so that's an unusual way to make sure that it stays put, but uh, to each their own. That's it, I'm sure the goalie doesn't, uh, won't mind at all as long as that net stays where it's supposed to go. Well, if he can kick off of it, I mean, that's, Niall's one of those guys that actually puts his skate right on the pipe, and there's a reason there's no paint left on that <laughs> thing, but uh, uh, yeah, both of them actually are pretty good about pushing off from the pipe, and uh, yeah, that's, uh, they do occasionally come off here at the old Alpine, but uh, player safety is a first and foremost, so that's uh, a good reason for that. Yes. And uh, just like that, we have killed enough time here, Kyle, to uh, get into the second period. And they drop the puck. Here we go. So the uh, Swarm hold on to the puck after the faceoff. Fueler with it. Sends it out to the uh, center. And it gets turned over. Vortinoff with it up to Johnson. Johnson nice not able check. Yeah, great defense by Nichols there lifting the stick. And that's out in front again. Uh, but Fanning not facing one, and that one comes all the way in. He knocks that aside. Big rebound, but it fortunately bounces to Dan Nichols. They send it forward. Would be icing, is icing. And that puck goes all the way down and will come all the way back for a drop near Fanning's goal. And it didn't take long. That already encapsulates what you, you know, it puck possession for just a moment, then a quick outlet and going the entire distance of the ice very quickly. Uh, having to make sure that that gets iced. And Atwell with it. Atwell wins that one. Some players go down, that's knocked forward. Stepanik with a shot. The large individual known as Stepanik gives the puck back to his teammates and as they move around, that's turned over in neutral for a moment. Kozak has it with the pass, but it works perfectly. Shot in on Fanning. That definitely goes a into design the play on yeah, that one. Yeah, <laughs> definitely, definitely in there. And that's a shot by the uh, Swarm, but that's knocked aside, and Eden's looking for an outlet as he comes up the right side. Shot, and that's a uh, glove knockdown. I think that was, uh, that was Dalimore with that wrister. Turned over again, Orr's got it, he's gonna gain the zone, turns it to Eden. Eden with a wrister, and Canada holds on to it, gets knocked around, the certain individual, individual kind of kind of knocked into him there, I think that was yeah, that was Orr that kind of slid right into the goal pads there. I think he just lost an edge there. I don't think that was a, a malicious play, I think. No, everybody's having a good laugh. Yeah. yeah. And a uh, face-off coming up here in just a moment. Clean win. Clean win going all the way back. And Fanning's got to just make sure that that gets set aside. Good skating by Fontaine to try to get the uh, advantage there. And turned back around, Reese has it, can't get it out. Now he did get it out, that uh, instantly was not able to hold it in at the point. So the uh, Devils send that around, that's passed forward. Low with it, Low kind of stumbling his way forward following the puck, it gets into the zone but comes right back out and turned over again. Lang with it, Lang's gonna hold on to it. 
looking to get Ooh. through. He actually hit the linesman I there. Think, I think he caught that elbow from the linesman. Yeah, yeah. That's, uh, that, you don't expect that. No, you don't. <laughs> of all the things, you don't expect an elbow from the linesman. Nope. The uh, Red Devils get that back to neutral, but turn it over. Hopkinson brings it in with a little speed. He shoots it, and Bortnoff chases. Fanning gave up a big rebound there, but gloves it and holds on to it in order to uh, slow down play. Nice check by Reese there to finish his check on the shot from Hopkinson. Yeah, and Hopkinson's going to jump right back in. Face off one by the Devils, and that's going to get turned back out, skated out by uh, Lowe, and he takes it forward, gets the blue line. Everybody comes in, but that's turned over to Moss, and Moss him with it. And to Lang. Lang's going to take a wrister off of Canada's face. A hard way to make a save, and the uh, mask comes off. That's going to hold up play for just a minute as uh, Canada gets sorted out. Do you know why I think of good cars after every training session? Because, 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 because. Because good cars helped me find the perfect car. Good people, good service, good cars. Now Lang waiting patiently over there for the... Uh, Looks like, well, maybe for a second I thought maybe it broke a strap on his helmet, but it seems to be okay. Yeah, I think he just took an extra minute because the first shot that he took really hit him in the, just square in the face, mm. right in the, uh, and he's still shaking his head a little bit about it. So uh, if anything, just give him a moment. But uh, Canada really taking one there. And I mean, it is one way to stop the puck, but uh, not recommended necessarily. No. <laughs> Passed out to the point. Back down to uh, low, Hospital, excuse me, shot out in front, but uh, that is held by Canada. And uh, catch the number on who got that shot off. Was that, uh, I want to say maybe. Uh, 68, yeah, I think. Uh, yeah. Hodge Don't was able to, to redirect that towards the net. There it is. Lachlan Hodge making himself a bit of a pest. He's played really well for the uh, first couple of games and uh, continues to do so. Reese with it, sends it forward. I think that's the fourth face off this period that the Red Devils have won, and that's made a huge difference, as you can see where the play is down in the swarm zone. Yeah, and it's also the uh, long shift, or long benches on the second period, of course, but, uh, probably slowing things a bit down, but uh, it has. The possession hasn't been so uh, one-sided so far. Uh, Lest we blink and miss something here, but at least so far, it, uh, the Red Devils have done a really good job of making an adjustment. That's held on to uh, by low in behind the uh, Canada net, and as they dig that out, Luke Simon's trying to get something on that. Hasn't done it yet. And that, well, no, not quite. I was actually thought he had tripped in there, but uh, it looked like uh, that was a clean play. Kozak with it across the blue line. And right out in front, his own, uh, I think it was Atwell did his own good job of uh, blocking that shot. So uh, thank you for that, Mr. Atwell. But uh, we continue to try to get something uh, out of the zone. But the Swarm hold on to the puck and uh, extended possession in their offensive zone. Out in front, a chip. That was uh, Hay with the, uh, didn't quite get on the stick there. No, I don't think he got all the wood on it that he wanted to. Yeah. It's a great pass. And back to Hay and knocked aside by Fanning. Passed around and that's going to come out. Harry Lowe with that, getting it out to neutral and a switch. And that might go for icing. I'm not sure. No, it's not. It's uh, Apparently it was playable, so they continue with it. Passed Again, around. Again, good job by Winston Lee not to touch it because that would have been too many men. Dalmato with a good shot, but Fanning with an excellent save there. It was a kind of a floater that came in and uh, knocked it aside just at the right time. And that rings all the way around. And a Reese with an attempt at a good hit there, but uh, got more board than player. Right out in front, and that uh, opportunity by Fuehler did not eventuate and back out to Moss and to hold on to it. Now here's the extended possession that we were talking about that the Swarm had. And Thuler 
and Moss and holding on to it. This makes it difficult and does, causes the uh, Devils to skate a lot. Now that's a good turnover there by Eden. And, and that might be interference by Thuler. We'll see how that gets called. I think Eden nope. might get a high stick. Interesting, okay, so uh, must have tagged him a little bit in the head. Maybe, on the, trying yeah. to get through there, but uh, this is actually, I was gonna mention it earlier, Fortunately, I don't get the announcer's curse for this one because I didn't mention it, but this is the uh, first um, penalty of the game, first uh, man advantage, and really not a good one to be giving up for the Devils here. So Swarm with a uh, five on four for two minutes, high sticking on Chris Eden, and Atwell to take against Lang. And just something to point out, that is just a two minute high stick because there was no blood drawn. For those of you that are a little bit unfamiliar with the game, that if there was a, any blood, that would have been a four minute double minor. Correct, yeah, it didn't look like much of anything, but it more no. of a statutory call when you tap the head, it just it it. happens. Anything on the visor, you just better to be to. safe. And it's a goal, oh, yeah. Stepanik with a riser. And boy, that was top shelf stuff uh, in multiple ways. That was an excellent one-timer from the blue line, long shot in, Fanning never saw it, and that thing just perfectly saucered in maybe an inch below the crossbar there. What a great goal. That by, puck had eyes for it, sure. It did. It, it, he knew where it was going. So let's take a look if we got any of that going here. It's, Stepanik's gonna take a big squat at it, and yep, Atwell in front. Look at, the, the, look at all the traffic in front of Nile yeah. there. He's not going to see that. No chance. So uh, face off coming, 6-0 the score. And the uh, Red Devils are in a heap of hurt here at the Alpine Ice today. Ooh. Turn around, Mawson has it. He's going to knock that out. Nichols with a uh, attempt, but that's turned over. Shot, that goes behind Fanning off target. And back out to... That sideboard area. And turn around, Nichols with it, and he sends it behind. But that, well, let's knock back and forth, and Nichols is gonna get a second chance at it. He swings and misses, and turn back over the swarm right out in front. Another one tipped away, but uh, Fanning was not in danger there. That was just uh, knocked aside, and Sean Brown collects. Big hit right in front of the net there. I think Vortnoff and Nichols just bumped into each other, both looking the wrong way. And, and that's a high stick that's played, good. and that's oh. gonna stop things. No goal there, that's a, uh, it just tipped in. I don't think anybody saw it who was, uh, it was Vortnoff that was played it, right? But uh, but the high stick happened before. And I don't yes. think Vortnoff saw that it had been played with a high stick, so he just went ahead and tried. And that's, uh, that's uh, fortunate for the Red Devils there. What's the old outage, right? Play to the whistle. Play to the whistle, absolutely. Play to the whistle. And didn't play after the whistle. There was no no, uh, no shenanigans there. So uh, Dalmato takes it against Lang. Uh, Dalmato wins, but uh, turns it over. And the Devils look to get the puck out of their zone here. Up to Hodge. Hodge's pass is deflected. Not sure if that hit the roof or not. Didn't. So play continues. Three on four coming from Dalmatel nice up to Wow, it was Winston Lee. It couldn't just get it, couldn't get a shot off against Fanning as he drifted across the net there. No, he just beat his man to the net and Dalmato with a phenomenal pass to get it to him. And Lang with it. Lang knocked around. He's getting a little frustrated as that stick looked a little bit high. Hodge is gonna walk it in. Hodge takes a shot. Another deflected stick. That's gonna go behind Canada's net and the Red Devils. Just shoot uh, Pospisil with one four check on that. And they hold on to it. Turn around, Fontaine knocks it forward to Dalmato. Good pass, but uh, Dalmato has to let it go. And back out to neutral, but turned over. Hayes going to uh, have tipped it. So it's gonna be uh, McDonald to play it. And where did that end up? Didn't see that one. No, I think it just jumped just a, up. Yeah, it looks like it just popped over the board. To here. Maybe a, a, a fan taking home a souvenir. <laughs> no, that's a. Uh, it's not the greatest of souvenirs, to be honest. But uh, sure enough, it did go out. So face off coming and a uh, new piece of rubber found by the linesman. So we continue on here. Face off by Perver. Perver wins it. No shot 
able to be uh, extracted there. And a long run up here by, uh, well, that was uh, Kozak taking a long, uh, just a straight up the gut, trying to get a shot off. He never really could get anything with any power there. No, and please forgive me, goalie here. I can't remember That's your Niall name. That's Niall Fanning. Niall Fanning. He did a great job of, uh, of staying with it the whole way. Didn't give Kozak any, any room there. Face off in the defensive zone. And Pervert holding on to it. Just enough to Reese and Saisho. Saisho looking for the outlet pass to Lowe, but he's going to take it himself. Saisho up the left side. Rings it around. He gets hit into the boards. And the Swarm turned that over. Atwell's got it. And they set up their offense. Up to Stefanik. Shot and held by Fanning. Stefanik with the, uh, he's hard to miss out there really. And once you, once you figure out who it is, uh, you put that man on skates, that is a tall dude. He is, he is a big man, but he's, he's mobile. He's agile. He, uh, he reminds me a little bit like an Alexander Polozov, who's, uh, who's not here with us today. He's, he's back in Botany injured, unfortunately. Oh, okay. So we're there hoping that he has a, a speedy recovery and, back on the ice soon. Well, let's be honest, it's a little easier when you see your team going 6-0. <laughs> you might be worried about your spot more than anything, but Paul yes. will definitely be back. And won by the Swarm, but turned over and out to Dallimore. Dallimore looking for a pass, that's knocked down. That'll be a hand Hopkinson, pass. Hopkinson, yeah, hand pass right at center ice. Uh, probably best to do that anyways, but this should be a, that's good defense by the Swarm there. And, uh, <clears throat> doing here nine minutes gone this pace has been a little bit slower not much uh, but at the same time you know that that power play went by pretty quickly without too much of a uh, of a bother and Nichols knocks it out and Dallimore chases he's gonna go after Moss in here behind the net swarm hold on to it confidently and move out to uh, neutral ice Hopkinson knocks it forward. And Fanning thought he had that in his glove. He was going to push it aside, but he didn't actually have it. So the uh, play continues there. Goes out to neutral. Aiden flips it out. It's going to go to Nichols. Nichols on the right side. He's going to take a low pass in. And a goal! Finally! The Red Devils get one on the board. This afternoon in Christchurch, making it 6-1. Let's see that one again, Kyle. Let's see what we got here. Just want to point out the great shot here by Nichols. That's not a goal scoring shot, that's no, a that's rebound shot. Shot pass there. Yeah. And uh, and pass forward. And I still don't know who had that officially. Eden, I believe. Was it Chris? I yeah, believe it was. I, it looked like it, but uh, I hate giving credit and then having to take and it then, back. Yes. So, yeah. Anyway, 6-1 to score. And the Red Devils finally solved Canada with uh, what really is, a, like you said, Nichols playing a rebound yes. type shot to get kicked out and it worked. And Eden was there to knock it home for uh, <coughs> what is a big relief for the team in red. 6-1 to score. Face off one by the Devils, that's sent forward, back to neutral, back to the swarm, knocked in and is that not icing winston lee got there and just got into the corner so no big deal there and that's sent forward fontaine could have played that so we do it again and uh, the devils have to pull their way out of the zone they look for the long pass going for lachlan hodge i actually thought he hit this stick there but i guess he didn't and uh, that is icing on the red devils they won't be able to change on this either, so this could be a little bit of a mismatch line here. Christchurch Ortho, your friendly local smile specialist. Make sure you give those guys a call at ChristchurchOrtho.co.nz. Face off coming with Mike Atwell. No, no, that was Bortonoff taking that. No, it was Atwell. No, that was Sorry. Atwell. You had it correct. I'm, <laughs> I'm second-guessing <laughs> myself here. Should be doing that. Lang with it. And that cross ice pass has a funny bounce and Lachlan Hodge knocks it around, but uh, it gets turned over three on two, an opportunity. Good block there by Fanning as that goes into the corner and out quickly. Offsides 
the uh, swarm tag up, and it gives the opportunity. That's turned over. Stefanik gets it passed away. Gets it passed away, and the uh, the miss miscommunication between the uh, players in the slot. Mawson almost comes back out and gets a uh, penalty, but he decides at the last minute to hold up, and that's back to Hay. And confusion reigns on both sides at the moment. Low with it. And that was a, well, there goes all oh. the uh, sticks for the uh, swarm. We'll, uh, we'll get to that in just a minute here. Shot in, that was blocked away before, um, I think that was uh, Ryan McDonald got in the way of it. And then low with it, he, and a pass. And that, that shot by Perver almost had eyes, but uh, no luck there. And that's sent back to neutral ice. Kicked around and behind Fanning's net. That's sent off the pipe. Goes all the way to neutral. And back around. Hopkins with it. Pass to Perver. I was going to skate that one and flip. And the Devils go for a change. That's interesting. Uh, there was a door opened up that uh, I don't think the uh, swarm were expecting, and a whole bunch of sticks went flying. It was quite. Well, I think one of the arena staff was trying to get into the break room, maybe, and <laughs> all the swarm <laughs> sticks were leaned up against it. Yeah. Out in front, or with it. And then, and a goal! Wow, Dalimore. Dalimore with a very, very tricky backhand, making it 6 2. Life back in the building for the Red Devils. Let's take a look at this. Dalimore with just a beautiful backhand. I'm not sure where this goes in. Uh, it was a very small spot. Oh, we just missed that one again as well. So you're going to have to trust me that that went in over Canada's left shoulder. And we're back to uh, center ice here. 6-2 the score. Lang and Dalmatau with it. And that's sent in. The Red Devils with a pep in their step as they get started. 6-2 the score with about eight minutes to go in the second. A lot of speed coming through. Oh, oh and a goal. How did that happen? Now, Dalmato took a shot, whiffed on it, and somehow the momentum of the puck still I think he tried to pass him. it, and yeah. then just kind of as he was going down, he just swung his stick and... And Fanning thought it was the pass was going, so he was moving over, and it snuck through. Well, that was a, a very interesting situation. I don't know if we actually even got that. It was so quick. We'll take a look here at what we did capture. No, we no. did not. So the uh, that was a very odd goal indeed. And 7-2 the score. And the Red Devils give one right back. Then Bit of a turnover here, but uh, that does go to neutral. Nice and check. And a big hit there. You could see that one getting lined up. That uh, uh, Sandoy uh, making sure he got a uh, everything out of that hit right in the neutral ice. Saisho takes it up the right side. A shot across. That uh, didn't miss by much. But went through the uh, crease, but uh, got through and no shot. Ooh, Ooh that was a nasty little hit with uh, Harry Lowe falling over. And Reese holds on to it at neutral. He's gonna gain the zone. Sends it back to Eden. Eden with a high shot, misses over the crossbar, comes back out to neutral. Swarm with it. It's turned over to Sean Brown. Brown's got it. Fontaine off the ice. Some others changing for the swarm, but step on it out there. Up to Sean Brown. Sean good Brown stick. overskates his puck. That was a good defensive effort. And Stefanik with it. Some rough stuff in the corner yeah, there. Atwell was... and number five, I believe. Number nine, excuse me. Yeah, Joe Orr. Joe Orr. Didn't care for how that was uh, working. So, uh, and there's a call there. I think somebody's going to go for elbowing. And I, I think, think Orr is going to go get yeah. the gate for elbowing on that one. Yeah, I think that was just uh, just a little bit too high as far as the uh, check being thrown, and that's going to cost him two minutes in what has been a um, a very short-lived comeback in a sense because the uh, the momentum had definitely turned. But uh, you know, you need a lot of time to come back from five goals, and when you get it down to four, then you can kind of see the light at the end of the tunnel, and then that uh, that funny goal happens at seven-two. 
and uh, it's a long way back for the Red Devils, but you can only get back a goal at a time. Yep, that's it. Five on four for the next two minutes for the elbowing against Joe Orr. That uh, little stick against the pipe there rung out. Hopkinson with it. Very tight box being played here with a, a lot of compression, and now they skate hard out to the uh, side, looking to dig that puck out. And it's kind of pinned in there. Taking a lot of time on it. And back out, Hopkinson with it. Feeler with it, takes a shot. Walks in and uh, sends a wrist of eye. That was deflected away. And Bortinoff holds on to it. He's trying to skate in quickly. He does. Gets in on the left side. Takes a shot. Five, tries for the five hole, but uh, Fanning holds on to it here. Let's take a look at that. The uh, uh, Fanning got to see all of that shot yep. coming in. So that's, uh, no, no, we're not going to see that one, are we? We are uh, having a bit of difficulty with the uh, camera work here at the moment, so we'll get the instant replays back on target, and on target in the uh, third period here. That's set all the way down. It's going to be a heavy skate for Lang. No icing to be played here. Sandoy wasn't going to outskate Lang for that one, so Canada played it. Pospisil gets it into the corner. And as they dig, that comes back out. And a big hit in that corner as we continue play, and that puck is the Swarm taking that out the left side. Kozak with it. Kozak holds up at the blue line. Remember, they're still on a power play for 30 more seconds. An excellent, uh, good 35, 40 seconds of puck possession, and Lang taking it and doing it all on his own here, holding on to it and killing this penalty. He's using that speed of his. Oh. Uh, he's he's going to get one. He's going to get one because uh, Sandoy was taking a shot, and sure enough, uh, <coughs> Lang had had enough yeah. of what Sandoy was giving him and hit him in the back of the head, and that's going to be two minutes for Lang in a, uh, well, of course, it's in a bad situation here, so we're going to have a five on three for 12 seconds, and that means a Pretty uh, hefty power play for the uh, for the swarm. Obviously, the 12 seconds is going to go pretty quickly here, but uh, still, it's a extended possession for uh, four tiring skaters. Great play by Dalimore there to maybe not win it, win the face off, but get it out and force the swarm to restart. Now Vortnov holds on to it. One of the players is out. That is, of course, uh, Joe Orr who took the uh, elbowing call. Uh, Mawson. Trying to send it in from the blue line. That doesn't get through the traffic. Chopped away, and that puck goes all the way out. Joe Orr with it. In that corner there. And holding on to it, and uh, Hopkinson sends that back out to Nichols. Nichols steps aside. That's a hand pass, but uh, to himself, so they continue playing. Janssen and did a good job not to touch that and let uh, let Hopkinson get a hold of that first to negate the hand pass. And that allows possession to continue for the Swarm, and it does, but it's turned over. And <clears throat> you see uh, Brown walking that all the way through, getting at least an opportunity shorthanded. And that leads to an opportunity to change everybody out for the Red Devils, allowing for a fresh set of legs against this power play. 43 seconds to go on the man advantage for the Swarm. Atwell with it at the far point. He swings it around looking for Kozak. Doesn't get it there. That puck's a little slow around the dasher and the uh, the uh, yellow uh, plastic in that area because of the, the uh, uh, Zambonis there. So he wasn't expecting that and that puck turns over. Comes all the way back to Atwell. Atwell with a good uh, collection of past the blue line, but he actually he kind of held up there. I was a little surprised. I thought that was something he'd charge in on, but uh, he held up in 10 seconds to go on the man advantage. Say credit to that Red Devil defenseman to keep him to the outside and give him nothing and force him to come back like that. Stepanek looking for the pass out in front. That goes to Sandoy. That's going to end the penalty back to five on five hockey. Stepanek turning on that. Good work by Eden. Leverage there. Good hip check, turning Absolutely. the uh, large man over the side there. 
That, and, is, uh, that he, is a lot of human to get in between the puck. And <laughs> that's, there's a reason he's been around in this league. He knows how to use what he has, and the, uh, he is a strong individual. So, uh, yeah, not too bad to hear with a uh, killing both both of the uh, power uh, penalties uh, relatively cleanly there. Uh, it's, it's a good sign, but uh, it is still a five-goal difference that the uh, Red Devils need to start chopping away at this afternoon. Nichols with it in the corner. And then that goes out to Simon. Simon finds the lineman. Nice, nice check by the linesman there. Just did, yeah. Let him know he's there. Good, good forechecking for the, uh, the guys. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Nichols with it in the corner. That's turned over in a bad spot, but Nichols jumps back out. Luke's and puck. Fanning doing a good job getting around, and somebody's behind the goal stuck somehow. I think uh, Delmato's stick got caught in, uh, is it number eight? I get yeah, Sean in Brown. The, Sean Brown skate. in his skate there. Yeah. Orr's got the uh, puck behind Canada. He flips it back out, tapping with it. He's going to pass cross ice, and nobody in particular there. Or gets sidestepped. That was a very good move by Fontaine. Probably seen that before. Simon with it. He loses it. Back to neutral. So, uh, Fontaine tries to send it forward. Nichols surprised by that. And Fueler trying to skate it in, but he is offside. Spinorama. Dot NZ in the company in Christchurch to get your hockey equipment from. If you don't already know it, you do now. Spinorama.nz. Back to action in neutral ice. Now McDonald and uh, Hodge being told to back up. Hopkinson wins that draw for just a moment and turns it to uh, Johnson. Johnson held up in the corner. Skates it forward. Fanning having to make a good save on that as he uh, just powered his way through and Fanning holds on to it for the faceoff. Hodge on the back there trying to maybe goat McDonald into a penalty, just give him a little shot, maybe look for retaliation on that one. Yeah, the uh, game within the game is definitely uh, an interesting one to watch. Yes. And you don't really know when to make too much of it until you uh, start seeing the penalty start happening. Yes. Yeah. There's definitely, you got to find that line before you uh, before you know where you can cross it. Yeah, exactly. So we continue on there. That's uh, one by Lowe. Lowe's got it in the corner. And Lang's got a hold of it. He passes to Pospisil, but he can't get a hold of it. Heads up. And Hodge swings for it, and that goes out of play. So uh, <clears throat> just a minute to go on this. The uh, How do you feel as far as the uh, second period? I mean, it's been 2-2. I think the Red Devils have done a much better job of dealing with the speed of the, uh, of the swarm. That face off won by exactly nobody there. Lang uh, jumping at it, kept it in the zone. He holds on to a shot and a very dangerous fight. And Pospisil with a goal. Pospisil picking up the garbage and delivering a third goal. And just as we were saying, Kyle, the, uh, in this situation, the Red Devils are now looking at they may have won the second period. I don't want to get too far ahead, but uh, you know that was the goal going yes. into the second. You can't really do much about what's already happened. And the Red Devils outplaying the Swarm just slightly here in this second period, and that is a good sign. They just need to jump on it a little earlier if you're going to make more of a game of it. So 7-3 uh, yes. so the score. Kozak with it, looking to get some uh, physical attention there and uh, missed his guy. Stepanek just moving Anton Perver right out of the way, but his pass was turned to the side. That goes to the uh, cross ice to Shaisho up the left side this time. Shaisho trying to uh, play that and it's a penalty. He's gonna get it. He's going to get that high stick. Came yeah. up and hit Simon in the visor there. It's interesting because his stick was being held at the time. And a goal. Uh, that penalty is not going to happen. Atwell with a fantastic goal there. And um, and Saisho having a, a conversation with the uh, referee, making a very, very important point. The... Uh, 
if the uh, stick is lifted into the other uh, player's face, how is that a high sticking? That is a, a relevant question. It I is a very relevant question. I, you know, in my opinion, I would say that Simon was holding the stick up there, and then, you know, maybe on a stick lift, it came up higher than it should have. But I definitely think uh, the game within the game that we mentioned, yeah. Simon, I think had an idea of what he was doing there. Yeah, I do too. Uh, eight three, the score, and uh, this is what happens when you speak too soon, and you get three three on the period. Uh, and now there's a discussion as to who's going to serve, but now Dallimore is going to serve. It wasn't Dallimore that took the high stick, of course, no. because that would have been cleared. I think he just he got himself a uh, misconduct, misconduct there. Okay. Yeah, I think just just yelling at the official. So uh, Chris Eden's out there wondering what's going on, and I don't exactly blame him. Seven seconds to go. Power play on the board for the uh, Swarm. They're going to hold on to it for just a second and let this third uh, second period close itself out and that's Sean Brown just skating it around and a very frustrated Red Devils team trying to get back in it and just basically nothing quite going their way so uh, yeah just uh, from a from a botany perspective I I assume that you're looking at it as a um, just don't make any big mistakes right no that's it just keep it simple right we're what we're doing is working so you know we don't need to we don't need to change it up Right, keep you know a couple mental lapses and things happen, but that's all right. You just gotta, like I said, keep, stay with it, keep it simple, and let the let the chances come for us. Yeah. So uh, <clears throat> another good period for the uh, Swarm. Gave up nothing effectively. Still a five-goal lead going into the second intermission. And the uh, Red Devils having uh, well, they're fairly confounded. Uh, Anton Perver still out having a conversation with the uh, referee. Uh, Coach Korozov making uh, quite a point as well, but I'm not sure if he was more mad at the uh, uh, misconduct than he was the uh, the play on the ice. Yes. We'll see how that works out. But uh, a couple of conversations happening and the uh, skaters going back to the locker room. So uh, we'll join you in just a little bit. We're going to uh, uh, highlights and then maybe get to the highlights, maybe get to the highlights of the IIHF finals. And uh, we'll see you back here for the uh, third period. Thank you, everybody, for joining us this afternoon here at the Alpine Ice. Kotoko, welcome back everybody to the Alpine Ice Sports and Entertainment Center. We're about to get ready for third period action here at the Alpine Ice. The uh, home team down five goals, eight to three, as we get back underway with the uh, Botany Swarm throwing it in and we follow it around to uh, Vortinov. And that's gonna go back around the uh, clean ice again, Kyle. And, uh, Nichols throws it out. So what do you think as far as the uh, uh, second period? I mean, they come back out and just are they going to park the bus or are they going to be aggressive here? I'm not sure, to be honest with you. I, I think I think the swarm here, we're going to look to be stay aggressive, right? Stay on the front foot and just give them nothing. Um, but I want to come back to Matt as the penalty to Dallimore, which the referee signaled for a 10-minute misconduct. However, he's sitting over there by himself with a two-minute minor sitting on the scoreboard there so if he's given a 10 minute misconduct that would mean the red devils have to put somebody else in the penalty box to serve that two minutes while dalamore sits for the full 10. so right. i'm just unsure what the official call was on that one just yeah, something we'll we have, discussed we'll, off the air yeah we'll take a look at that the uh I, I mean obviously i don't think i think it was assigned to somebody else but uh i mean we'll see how that mm -hmm. works out uh but as the uh, puck continues to just get cycled around here by the swarm, they're in no hurry. 30 seconds to go on this power play and just no big mistakes. Uh, the uh, team in white just trying to uh, hold on to the puck and do no wrong. And so far that's 
pretty much been the case. They had an even second period, but uh, giving up those three goals, they were the uh, high, uh, high quality options that we were looking for for the Red Devils, but the uh, Red Devils also giving up a couple of goals that they really didn't need to. Mm -hmm. So the uh, power play is over, oh. and that pass goes right in front, but uh, not able to be knocked home by McDonald. And the Red Devils throw it down. That's going to be icing as the uh, uh, penalty was over. But the Red Devils on the ice needed a break and a smart play by them to get a uh, faceoff coming up in the uh, defensive zone. Um, so you were telling me more about, so you're originally from the Toronto area? Yes, just north of Toronto, a little town called Barrie. And... Uh, so you've been. So you are actually a Kiwi citizen too, Kyle. I am. Yes, I was. I was fortunate to uh, that my parents were living here and I was born here. So I am a citizen by birth. I was here long enough for a passport, but not an accent. <laughs> well, you've got an accent. It's just not a Kiwi. Just one. not a Kiwi. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> yeah, that's held in. That was actually a really good play by Tuller at the line to hold that in. And skating behind, Fanning getting the puck right out in front, but the. Uh, Pass not connecting, and the Red Devils break out up to uh, Pospisil. He passed it forward, and a big miss by Dalmore. I think his stick actually got lifted there because the uh, Bueller was right on him, and Dalmore couldn't. I mean, you saw how good his wrister was in the second, and that skates across. That was Lang taking it out himself and getting a shot in front through the slot, but uh, gloved by Canada. You just see for all you kids out there that are watching Lang there, you see the way he accelerates and has his feet moving so quickly to create that separation for himself. That scoring chance comes from him moving his feet and changing gears on the defenseman. So all you kids out there, have a watch and just watch the way he changes direction and changes speed. One by the Devils there. That's passed out in front, but it goes back to neutral, and Tappan's got to collect it. You're exactly right, Kyle. The, uh, the most overlooked part of of the uh, game of ice hockey is skating. Everybody wants to play with the puck, everybody wants to uh, stick handle, but it is the elite players are the ones that outskate everybody and give themselves opportunities. Yes, a little high stick there, Vortnoff trying to knock the puck out of the air, but I'm sure the Swarm will take take a neutral zone face off here. They'll take any break they can get just to get to the end here. I think they're, uh, I think they actually are coasting a little bit. McDonald looked like he was offside. He oh. was. Vortinov tried to get in front. Fanning made the save anyways, but that was uh, pretty well offside. And, I uh, think that went in, Matt, the way McDonald threw his arms up. I think so. It I, was, think well, it, okay. I think it may have gone in the net, but offside, so well, it means nothing. Can't do a thing if the whistle's called. But, That's uh, it. Just doing a good job of playing to the whistle. Good on you, Marcus. There you go. So a pass forward by Nichols up to Eden. Eden in his uh, normal spot on the uh, point at the blue line. Looking for some sort of action. It goes back to him. Pass forward to Orr. Orr's going to gain the zone. Holds on to it. Looks for a pass out in front of Canada, but uh, no go in there for the uh, Red Devils. That's going to go for icing. And Hopkinson trying really hard to hide himself on the bench. I think he's just trying to get himself a new stick. I think his <laughs> stick broke, so he wanted to make sure he got uh, an well, intact stick. Well, it's going to be interesting if they, uh, the linesman's there. He's ready for the 15 seconds, but that is a good delay tactic. i got to give it to him. That's a, that's a new one. And coming off the ice, that, uh, honestly, that should be a delay warning, but uh, we'll see if that happens. Shot, and Reese puts it behind the net. Canada looking at it, following around. Nice chuck by Luke Simon there, number four. And Simon with an excellent push on the puck. And change is coming for the uh, Swarm. Penalty's over. Five on five hockey at the moment. And that puck crosses. Heads up. The, oh, heads up. Atwell taking a shot at uh, one of the players on the uh, side, uh, the mid wall there. Passed in front. Fanning lost it entirely. It goes behind him to the uh, to his right. I think it went off a Red Devil skate and just went straight up in the air. And the Red Devils choosing to uh, get some fresh legs out there. Puck coming in with some speed by the swarm. And uh, I think that hit the glass and just kind of fell out. Bounced up and out of play, yep. 
So, uh, yeah, some good play there by the uh, Swarm, making sure that they, uh, there's really no, uh, it doesn't feel in any way, shape, or form like there's a fourth goal coming for the Red Devils. Now, that can change in a heartbeat, but right now, total control being uh, administered by the Swarm at this point. That goes out to neutral. Hacking and uh, bumping away at the puck. That goes to the other side of the ice. Good stick by Winston Lee to break up that play. Yeah, Winston Lee getting that all the way to the other side to Hopkins. Mark with it, or sorry, Hopkins with it. The player's getting tripped up a little bit, but uh, so far so good. Here he goes again, change the speed, create some separation for himself. Just a very fun player to watch. My first time personally, and it's been, oh, it's it, been a treat. It's everybody's first time. This is Lang's first time in the building, and uh, he has been outstanding. Just trying to swat it in there. So Lang is by the defenseman, but, but uh, he's not going to play defense here. Uh, his last professional gig was in Bulgaria. And uh, he is showing the value of the import program in this league. See Fanning getting a stick on that. Didn't go out. Out to Luke Tappen. And they get that up to neutral. Lang trying to pull that away. Fontaine gets the puck up to Vortinoff. Vortinoff over skates, but apparently he was on side. I missed how that didn't get called and over skated himself, but that's turned all around and sent forward. And to Eden, Eden's right out in front. Canada, two shots. Try, got a uh, uh, pad save on it for just a moment. Nice and, double uh, save, get that left leg out. Yeah, he really kicked it away just in time. Another, but also credit to Eden, great play to get that second opportunity for himself. Absolutely, but uh, Canada up to the challenge as per normal. And Icing Nichols, waved off. Yeah, that's uh, interesting. I don't, Fanning didn't do that, right? That wasn't no, optional. I don't think the puck crossed the line, maybe. I think it oh, okay. just sat just in front of that goal line. And as we continue forward here, the Red Devils trying to get some offense or coming up the left side, skating at an angle, one on three. And, uh, well, Orr was scored himself. Nichols making the smart choice to at least take a shot, but uh, as Orr was thrown into the net, the net comes off the moorings and we hold on a bit for some repair work at the uh, that end of the ice. Do you know why I think of good cars after every training session? And we jump back right back into play. Apparently the uh, netting didn't come off as much as it appeared. And Kozak with it as the uh, nice Swarm pass. get going. Right up to Stepanek. And a penalty coming up. That was a good stop by Fanning. Uh, delayed call. And a lot of confusion on the ice as to what happened there. But uh, either way, six on five for the Swarm for as long as they have the puck here. I'm not sure what the referee saw in that play. I thought Lang did a very good job to uh, keep his feet moving on there. Yeah, I... Not really sure what the idea here is, but that's got to stop the call there. Okay, that is uh, possession gained by the, and. Uh, He's going to take both. There is the hook down here. He's taking two penalties, huh? So, uh, Pospisil was it for the, well, let's see what happens here. Uh, it is a hook, two minutes. And Reese is going off. Maybe, I, I, I'm not exactly sure what all those signals were. So I think he's calling the, I missed the first one, but maybe a hook down here in the front on the initial chance that Perver's gonna get. And then just here when the Red Devils touched up, he's calling the hook there as well. So and, the and it was two, Pospisil that's Pospisil, gonna go off. excuse yep. me. No, you're exactly right. He, he had, the linesman had to pull him off the, uh, the bench because he'd already gone and sat down and tried to hide. But uh, no hiding from the uh, guys in the zebra stripes. No. They get their man. Very good vision, those guys. Uh, allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> Touche. <laughs> and the unfortunate part here for the Red Devils is uh, this is a five on three. 
for the full two minutes. For full two minutes, yeah, because it's, it, normally you'd say that's coinciding, but it, it's on one side, so it is coincidental, but not to the uh, benefit of the Red Devils here, just to the benefit of the Swarm. Hopkinson, Fontaine, uh, who else is out there? Johnson. Thuler. And Thuler. And a shot in on Fanning, he kicks it away. Vortinoff is the uh, fifth guy, and he has the puck for a minute. Off to Fontaine, walks in on the blue line. Vortinoff to the outside. Stick moves, shot, that goes off of Fanning's shoulder up and out over the glass. So another faceoff coming here in just a minute. Good job to seal that top corner. You know that's where Vortinoff's looking that whole way from there. Yeah, good positional play. Good job Absolutely. by Fanning, yeah. Keep that shoulder high. So Hopkinson to take for the uh, Swarm here. You know, and uh, that's quite funny. He actually called uh, Kyle Johnson to back up. There's nobody on him. He just was sneaking in a little bit. And he holds on to the puck, takes a shot. Kick save. Another good positional save by Fanning. Fontaine. Rister and a shot. Oh, what a goal. Wow. So Fontaine walks away, looking like he's going to make a pass and move away. And the uh, sneaky Rister makes it 9-3 to three here. I'm going to see if I've got that on replay. We're going to try that one more time. Nice sneaky backhand there by Fontaine. Yeah, that's... He walks across. Good patience. And, yep, right when he's not expecting it at all, he takes a, a backhand in traffic and makes it 9-3. to three. I thought he was going to move it out. It was such a good fake. He got me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looked good. Uh, he sold it well, and uh, he's had plenty of practices against Fanning, so I think he pulled one out there. Oh, that, there you uh, go. Yeah, he, uh, he knew that was coming. So the uh, it's now 5-on-4. It's pretty tough to guard against a 5-on-3 anyway. Kozak coming up the right side. Oh, shot nice in front, Jack. and Nichols taking a heavy shot. Uh, looked like it was uh, just... Fanning looks like he's in some pain. Yeah, he was knocked into the goal. Both players just kind of skating in, and interestingly, the referee's not allowing uh, substitutions here because of the, uh, the way that that came off. So we'll see if this cleans up quickly does look like it will, but... Uh, Very efficient these linesmen have been tonight cleaning these, up that net. They're two for two, I'd I, say. Yeah, they're uh, they're well practiced in this this building, that's for sure. <laughs> Atwell to take this for the Swarm. Nichols gets it, sends it all the way around and kills some valuable time with a minute seven to go on the power play that remains. Uh, not sure who's in there. Is it Pospisil that stayed in there? Oh, and some extras with uh, Brown and oh. Atwell. Nope. Well offside. Nothing happening there. Probably best that that was offside. But, uh, I'm not sure what happened. I think maybe they ran into each other, got tangled up, uh, maybe had a disagreement about where they want to go for dinner afterwards. I, you know, I'm not sure. I mean, I was expecting, I was half expecting some hand washing and some, uh, you know, just some hi, how are you? I'm going to slow this down. But they, they actually, that genuinely looked like a, a mistake. I think, yeah, I think it was just a collision there. That well loses this one back to Nichols. Probably do the same thing and send it all the way down, and he does. And that goes out. You have to be careful here that that didn't go directly out, but I don't think it did. I think that went halfway down the sideboards oh. and out in neutral, which means uh, no additional penalty, which is good. Uh, but it does allow for a line change finally. Yes. So just to be clear, if it goes off that mesh over there, is that considered the glass? There's a certain height, and I don't know exactly what it is, but it, obviously if he sends it out before the blue line, even if it's the, the low stuff, it can be judged to be a delay in delay. that kind of situation and get another mm. penalty. Right. And I think that's actually what they're discussing right now. No, no it's I not. think the, the swarm tried to change a little bit too late. There you go. So the uh, they've got to make that change first as the visiting team. And a good catch by Kyle there. And... Sandoy with it, he passes it. Gets it back at the blue line. One timer in by Stefanik, right on the logo for Fanning and he saw it the whole way, so. Uh, Great positioning, got right over there. Nothing to shoot at. Yeah, he's really good at the side to side movement uh, in following the puck, which is, that's really what stunned me the most about the Fontaine goal just a moment ago is that he is 
uh, it gets across and does that very well, very quickly, and, and follows the puck well, but... I think on that one, again, the Swarm done such a good job of getting in his eyes that mm. I don't think he really saw it as cleanly as he would want to. But that, but it, like you said, that was a very good positional save there against Deponic from a long shot. Fontaine with it again. Oh. And another good wrister that... Uh, a great block by number 11, I believe. Uh, Hopkins. Yeah, that was uh, George Hopkins getting in the way just in time. And nice there's, skate, there's a lot of skating going on, the uh, holding on to that by McDonald. Just nobody taking the man on that. McDonald taking a high shot, goes over the crossbar. Penalties out. expired here, back to even five on five. And that was good because the uh, Swarm player actually knocked that down on what would have been icing. Mm. And uh, just a little confusion as to where the puck is at neutral ice. And Pospisil's gonna get there first. Cheeky little pass, and as that goes over the blue line, Lane's got it. He's going to go around Mawson, stay on the board side. Some great stick work to hold on to the puck that whole time. Pospisil again, steps forward. That goes through the crease, but nobody home for the Devils, and the Swarm knock it out. The other thing, uh, Fontaine's uh, added some physicality to his game. There's a shot in by Pospisil. Just, just as a note, Last year, I wouldn't have seen him take that uh, kind of shouldering off or moving people, so it's good to see uh, you guys really are lucky to have uh, grabbed him. I hope he comes back after university because he's <laughs> going to be a heck of a player at that point. Uh, Pospisil with a good wrister at the just a sharp angle and no yep. real hope of beating Canada at that point. Not from that angle Not when you can angle. see it. No. So uh, Perver to take the face off here. Shot into Canada. At, uh, I'm not sure that skipped or not, but he uh, gloved it and held on to it to uh, reset the play. But again, great face-off win leads to that chance, right? Just to go to show the importance of a face-off win. Yeah, and if they uh, you see the Devils almost got an opportunity there, but it's a three-on-three. Three. Johnson rubbed out on the play there by Nichols, and then a wrister in, but uh, not a tough one for Fanning, and he holds on to it. Uh, but I want to say, I mean, outside of the Fontaine goal, this game has evaporated in this third period. It just mm. keeps going and going. And unlike the second period where the Red Devils were getting some good opportunities, in this first 10-plus minutes, we've seen a lot of sharp angle goal or sharp angle shots that get on to goal, but uh, are just low percentage to this mm. point, which is a credit to the uh, Swarm at this uh, and making the adjustments necessary to make nothing happens and nothing happens and happens and here we are at 9-3 again this 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 it's deja vu in a way because our first weekend when we were up uh, west of Auckland the Red Devils had a, a Saturday game 9 to 3 loss the next day they come back they win four nothing so uh, I guess we can hope again for a little bit of Jekyll and Hyde on the uh, on the uh, two teams, allowing for a bit more competitive opportunity tomorrow. But uh, nice right now, ooh, that's Oof. excellent by McDonald taking Perver into the wall. Johnson nice with a long stick. pass. A good defense by Nichols. Wouldn't expect anything else. Shot by Brown. He throws a shoulder in there, and the crowd's getting into it. One last push by them. Held on by oh. uh, Harry Lowe. Vortnoff's in pain. Oh, he is. He, I, I missed 80, that. 81. That what we here? Lowe is going yeah, to get, Low. get a penalty. Okay. After a good, uh, a nice tomahawk chop to the back of the legs. That doesn't feel very good. No, I bet not. I did. I fully missed that one. So it was a slash? Yeah, it was. Uh, Vortnoff went over to just finish his check. And I think just a frustration play he chopped him. Chopped him pretty good in the back of the leg, and that, that doesn't feel good. He's gonna. Yeah, it is a I think slash. His night is done. And yeah, he is. Um, he has taken his stress out on a uh, innocent traffic cone that was stopping things between the uh, players and stands, and he is walking himself off. So I know that means 
at least a 10 minute misconduct in that case. So yes. uh, with less than 10 minutes to go, his night is over. And you can see the five minute, five minute penalty yep. up on the scoreboard there. So a major coming and that's going to be served by uh, Sam Mark, who's going to sit for five minutes. And this one will goal the distance, of course. A, a major penalty does not get canceled out by a goal. So uh, if anything, the Red Devils are going to get a lot of work in the PK for tomorrow. That trickles in on Fanning, and he gloves and stops it just three seconds in in the first opportunity. Um, Bortnoff sitting on the bench here. Definitely in some, some discomfort. Yeah, he's uncomfortable, that's for sure. And that's one by the Devils and sent all the way to Canada. He paddles it to the side, and Sandoy picks it up. Dalimore with a, uh, an aggressive four check, getting some energy out. He needs to save some of that for tomorrow. Uh, Kozak with it as he comes on the right side, fakes the big wind up, sends it around. Out to Sandoy at the blue line. Kozak misses the pass. Possession cont uh, continues with Atwell on the far boards. Atwell's got it in the corner. Does a good job to protect the puck there, use that big body of his. And that's sent behind. Reese trying to kick it out. And this time he goes the uh, route one for straight down the way and gets a line change. Lang, Pospisil. And uh, tapping out there for the Red Devils. Costa still looking for an opportunity. He passes it to Lang, but uh, was not on target. Great play and, by Thule to tie up his stick there, give him nothing. And a four on two opportunity for the Swarm, but they don't take it. They actually make a, a change here. And that goes back out to neutral. Very beneficial for the Red Devils. One on one shot here. Nice Opportunity, move. great oh. skating. <laughs> That's a little showboaty uh, <laughs> kind of an opportunity there for uh, Mr. Lang. He's, I think he shot that through his legs. I think he did go between the legs. And uh, yeah, I think the only other time I've seen that happen at that speed is uh, my line mate back home, Pilly, would uh, try something like that messing around. <laughs> so to do it at this speed is uh, quite impressive. Yeah, and I don't. Uh, to be fair to Nick Lang, I mean that is very skilled, and uh, took the opportunity. Somebody's, uh, okay, oh, and they're keeping Lang out they're there. They're gonna make him, didn't change in time. Ah, interesting. Maybe so, a little bit quick on the the, the uh, change time there. Yeah, so uh, Lang comes back out, wins the face off, skates it, and gives it up to Thieler, and looks to stay out there. He's not, he's, uh, he was gonna come off, but uh, turns maybe, out. Maybe, no. Nope. No. An interesting watch. He's going to stay out there. Oh, good defensive play by the linesman to prevent the zone entry. You know, the if anything, the uh, the linesmen have definitely been on the Red Devils' side today. Yes. Shot by Fontaine. Rister trying to look off Fanning, uh, and he uh, he had his eyes in the corner, but uh, wristed it, and not quite accurate enough this time. But uh, no. good shot. Good solid save again. You know, I feel like a broken record, but he's doing a great job staying square when he can see it, not, yeah. uh, Fanning, not letting anything happen. Fanning's been uh, very serviceable in where he's uh, had good defense in front of him. He doesn't make mistakes, but uh, uh, very solid. Maybe not flashy, but definitely solid. It's McDonald. McDonald takes a shot. No. There was a whistle there. That is not going to count. And just as I say that, I think a whistle... I think someone on minutes. the swarm is going to get a, a roughing. No, he's going to get a closing a hand, his hand on the puck penalty. Is that what that was? Because yeah. it, it looked like, uh, you know, it was a wax on, wax off karate kid. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes the IHF things, you don't see it too much. But uh, that's, I don't know that I've ever seen that call I made think, in in real time in a game like that. It's it's a difficult one to make. It you know if you if the referee feels that by him catching it and throwing it down he's gained an unfair advantage, then that's you know that's when you're gonna make that call. So that's well, it was definitely, that's a hard one to make. It was it was an advantage because the uh, puck did get by Fanning. Yes, but, absolutely. Uh, he got got that open lane for that shot. 
And Delamore with it at the moment. Uh, six minutes to go in the third period in this game. Uh, it's a four on four for about a minute and a half here. And then the Swarm will go back on the, panel, uh, on the uh, power play. But uh, for the moment, a lot of open ice and a lot of offense uh, opportunity for those willing to go after it. But uh, it looks like everybody's kind of playing a square four on four to not make any, uh, two, any, any uh, odd man situations against them. At least that's what I'm seeing so far. Or to Pospisil, two on three. Pospisil pushed off, what a goal! Oh. An outstanding pass from Pospisil. And Orr knocks one home for the home fans. With five minutes and 24 seconds to go, we're gonna make it nine to four. Let's see if we got that one on the, uh, uh, just in the uh, last second there where it was passed in front to Orr. Pospisil does a good job there to protect the puck. I think it was Atwell trying to make that defensive play. But Atwell plus one. I think yes. he actually had two guys on him and still managed to one hand that over. And uh, that made all the difference in the world. Hey, bit of a hold up here. I'm not sure. I think the uh, minor penalty got reset on the uh, scoreboard or it got reset to two minutes, which it should not. It's not no. a minor. It's still a major. Um, I think I think McDonald's penalty, the Swarm, may have come off the scoreboard there. So he had a minute 13 left in his penalty. And because they're even, that goal doesn't let him come out of the penalty box. Right. So, so that's uh, so remains, it's, remains four on four for another minute, or minute 13, if I remember correctly. Excellent clarification. That was exactly right. And uh, we'll uh, see how that gets noted on the board because it is not correct at the moment. But four on four hockey continues. And the Devils trying to find some offense here. Lang trying to hold on to it. Got no, he's got his stick stuck oh, in the that back is of his own <laughs> skate. <laughs> I don't see that very often. That's something new today. The shot in on Fanning. He knocks it aside with no real problem. And four on four, the pace continues at a blistering rate here. Lang with a big shot goes in on Canada. And him and Thule are having a discussion. Yeah, they sure are. It was. Uh, Lang just trying to bait him into something there, and uh, he, he actually bought a little bit of it. A little bit, which is, yeah. So a learning moment there for uh, uh, one <coughs> Stefan Thuler. And uh, Did Lang checking his skate. I'm not sure how his stick really got wedged I, in the back of his own skate. That's, uh, <laughs> that's I, maybe we'll talk to him later about I, that I mean, one. <laughs> you've seen it happen all the time to other players, like a stick getting stuck in somebody else, yeah. but not their own. Never your own. Two on two opportunity. Dallimore with a shot. He doesn't, Looks Canada loose. doesn't know where it is. Right out in front. Good defensive play by Luke Simon. And Simon get there, got there in time. Dalmato takes it up the right side. And the uh, Devils dig that out. Looking Fontaine sure. with it again right in front, but uh, that's knocked off his stick and it goes into the corner. Fontaine collects it. Takes a bit of a body on that one from Hopkins. Nice that play, was not him. held in, but uh, Turned around, somebody's out of the, uh, that's, that's, that's uh, McDonald. McDonald's out of the box. He's gonna skate across, 39 seconds. So there is definitely, something's not right on the uh, thing there, but uh, looks like a 30 second power play for the swarm. the swarm at this point to finish that up with just under four minutes to go. Right in front, shot by Fontaine. That goes over. I think Fanning did get a piece of that, gets up in the netting yeah. and stops play. Well, it's, I gotta say, I mean, at least it's been an exciting several minutes because it has forced these teams to play uh, the non-boring five-on-five, five, if you will. <laughs> a little uh, more room out there, right? More room to a lot more to room. do whatever you'd like. But uh, it kind oh. of forces uh, everybody to play offense when the mentality is park the bus and get yes. to tomorrow. So, uh, so that's been good. And the uh, Devils have played pretty well. This is going to end the power play. They're going to go back to five on five, and hopefully it's a little bit more exciting here in just a moment. And out he comes. So uh, even oh, hockey. Nice little Good. spinorama there. Yeah, McDonald pushing the uh, circle on the PlayStation butt controller. <laughs> and uh, out to Hawkinson. He flips it forward in the corner. And knocked out. 
Oh, not uh, for Johnson there, and that stays for Swarm Puck behind the cage. Fanning not seeing it right away, but he gets to the other side. No shot, and that just digging at it, chopping away, and uh, Nichols getting it flipped out, but to Thuler, and Thuler loses it to the uh, Devils, who do finally get it to neutralize. And that is a big hit there by Mawson against Lang. I think there's, um, that didn't take long to build up some anonymity there. Animosity was the word I was Anim looking for. There it is. <laughs> Anon ah, it's, it, it happens in a flash, people. I can't, I can't make an excuse. <laughs> it just happens. Uh, but you're stuck with me, and that's how it is. And me and Kyle are going to bring the rest of this to you. Two minutes to go. Nine to four as the uh, Swarm look to put the uh, finishing touches on what has been oh, an excellent afternoon. Kozak's going to get a trip, it looks like. Yeah, he tripped Orr on the way through. Yeah. It was uh, The interesting part was they had the manpower there. It they was did. just kind of a lazy play. Yeah, I think that's something we'll be discussing later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, good work, but, uh, you know, he didn't get a shot off, so I guess you could say that's a smart play, too. But could be. This, this is the opportunity that the announcers have to that's say these it. things, whereas a teammate may not want to say these things. Uh, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, very nice. Uh, two minutes to go here, basically, on the power play and on the clock. Good job by Luke Simon to win that foot race there with Hodge. Yeah, and Pospisil to go chase it down. Red Devils looking to break out with some speed. Here he goes again. Lane's getting a lot of ice time, and I, I, don't, I don't mind this, even though it's, as you would say, garbage time or whatever. I mean, it's yes, it is 9-4, to four, but getting him used to the building and the feel of things probably going to benefit mm -hmm. for the uh, remainder of the season. Yes, I was just going to bring that up too. You know, like you said, this might be the, the gar quote unquote garbage time, but you know, get him used to being out here on this rink, right? Hodge trying to play one on two there, turned oh. around and that's just a whiff on a, uh, it really was a third choice. So I got to give Lachlan Hodge a, a huge uh, shout for that one because he made, made two passes happen and that ended up uh, not turning into a 10th goal, which is uh, psychologically an important factor. But uh, a good reminder, it was a two-on-one. A uh, That was a shorthanded opportunity yes. for the Swarm. Brown with it, just under a minute to go. And Orr's gonna take it forward into the left side, hold on, snow some uh, Ice and a shot. And that's another one off, off the I, mask, I believe. Well, but I think that wasn't off Canada. Right out in front, another shot, or with that one. How did that not And go? a little oh, bit of, oh, this is not good. Oh, Canada's not happy. Yeah, that's, that is a uh, unhappy bunch there. Oh, here comes Fanning out to center ice. Maybe he's looking for something. Yeah, this, uh, the frustration's boiling over. Canada finally uh, stopping things. The, the, the whistle hadn't been blown and the puck was clearly, I mean, it was out of the crease in that situation. So it's, I'm not exactly sure what started all of that other than it was a very aggressive play towards the end of the game. Brown's gonna go here probably for uh, just being, just standing up for uh, himself or somebody else. And I'm not sure if anybody's gonna go for the swarm. I think the referees are going to have a little discussion about this. I think I think Canada is going to get a penalty on this yeah, one. Yeah, which of course um, he won't serve, but uh, no. you know, somebody will be brought off for that. But I think that was it. It didn't appear that there was anything that was a non-hockey play before the whistle was blown, and then a lot of non-hockey stuff happened. That's absolutely. <laughs> so uh, some housekeeping, effectively. So. Officially, let me see if it's correct on there. Officially on the uh, score clock, they're back to 18.0 seconds. The bug's a uh, couple seconds off, but nobody really cares. The penalty that was on the board is at 17 seconds. Whether it's a coinciding minor or not, the four of them are discussing it. And... So 
So uh, they're having a discussion, but it is they are going to have somebody serve. I think. I think. No, I think I was going to say I think it almost looked like the referee was gesturing that uh, Matt Candy was going to get ejected, but maybe that was a little bit of an over oversight on my part. No, I think it. It's so definitely uh, one penalty was given. That I haven't seen it on the board. So I think and yes, McDonald may have gotten himself a roughing penalty. Maybe in that little mix up with I visit Brown, I believe, for the Red Devils in the penalty box there. Yeah. And then I think Winston Lee's going off for Canada. For Canada, yeah, that makes sense. So uh, it'll be a full box for a few seconds. <laughs> that. that really don't matter too much. But we do need to get this one underway and. Well, completed, so we can get through this. Do you know why I think of good cars after every training session? Because, 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 because. Because good cars helped me find the perfect car. Good people, good service, good cars. put three fingers in the air. I'm not sure exactly what that meant. So I think it's going to be a five on three in favor of the Red Devils. Okay. So there, there's, uh, again, there's just 18 seconds to go in this game. So uh, uh, five goals Do you know why I think of good cars after in, uh, every training whoops, session? There we go. Let's because. take a look at the face off here, right? So get the action. The, uh, they're back to discussing it across the uh, center ice, which is never a good thing. But uh, the only question really on this Kyle is uh, whether or not this is going to have an impact on tomorrow honestly this is that's the only important part of this right yeah conversation so if uh, if any of this carries over obviously the penalties don't carry over but, but suspensions this or is, if there's if they, anything extracurricular that's gonna affect tomorrow yeah that's the only thing that really kind of matters here and they have to get this right but the um, so it's, uh, you don't normally see quite so many players jump into something like that. So you know, but I think anybody who's watched any hockey will know if your goalie gets in there, everyone's going to go find a dance partner. Yes. So and they it. have to. They yes. just have to. You have to. That's it. Sorry, Mom. I don't know why, but we have to. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. So uh, it's just the game. But at that point, you want to make sure that uh, the funny part is that the more people that get involved, the less that actually happens, which is – Kind yes. of the, the whole point, which is just everybody kind of figures it out. Yeah. But they are pulling Canada off the ice here. I think he is. I so, think he's been ejected. I think he's been ejected. I think he has too, but uh, it's an oddity. So Parr is going to go out there for 18 seconds. Uh, Gavin was not expecting that one. Is that oh. right? Is it Gavin Parr? Uh, Connor Parr. Connor Parr. Connor. So there you go. And... Uh, Connor's going to have to stand out there. And uh, the, the, the bad part about this for Parr is that if he happens to get scored on, the uh, stats are just terrible for no, 18 seconds. No, it doesn't, <laughs> doesn't but, look good. But, uh, yeah, but he's uh, not exactly going to get a win on this one. So uh, Canada will be in for that. And I think, are we finally going to get some action here? I think we're, are you ready? I think we're going to drop the puck. All right, here he comes. Puck dropped and out to the blue line. Dallimore back to Lang. Lang's going to take a long one in. Shot saved. Two shots. Oh, he's got it. He does have it. So uh, well done, Connor. Yep. You, you got uh, two saves. You're, you're good. You're in. in. Uh, those of us old enough would, re would say, hey, kid, you're going to get your name in the paper. Uh, <laughs> right now, that's, that's a, I know that's about a generation too early for you, but uh, that is how it goes. And Pospisil is going to take this face off. Lang gets a hold of it. Good play and, by Andy Hay to poke that out. And that's going to be sent in. It's an offside shot, and that is going to end it with Mawson having the puck on his stick. Game over. And the uh, Swarm have maintained their perfect record thus far in the uh, NZIHL. Five wins, 
and uh, a very important win to come in here to uh, Christchurch and get it done. Uh, they are for real. There is, uh, there's no question. Last year they were a, uh, they were a team on the bubble, and they, the bubble popped on them just beforehand. Uh, this year they come into the uh, barn here and absolutely lay one down, guaranteeing at least a split, and they haven't lost a game yet. So uh, the real question, though, is – uh, so Connor Parr is the uh, other goaltender. Yes. Now, tell me if this is accurate. You brought two goaltenders on the flight. That's uh, it, right? I believe so. I'm not sure what, uh, I'm trying to remember all the names on our yeah, list. That's all right. Uh, I'm, I won't hold you to it until you're not around, and then I will. Yeah, uh, that's it. No. <laughs> but the, uh, the reason I ask the question is that if uh, Matt Canada is uh, suspended for a game, which is a distinct possibility for being thrown out. Could be, yeah. Then Connor Parr has to sit between the pipes in the next game. And that, it, it, the more you think about this league, you know, they, they talk about the NHL, right? So the NHL, you got to get 16 wins to win the Stanley Cup, right? Correct. You get 16 games in a season here. So you may as well consider that you're starting off in the playoffs effectively. It's not, you don't have a lot of time to turn things around. So if the Red Devils, at least in this case, if they're gonna get a split today or this weekend, that may be a, a large part in doing that and may affect the season quite a bit for a candidate getting thrown out there. We will see. We, we will don't see. know what, it, you know, we're speculating. I'm speculating mostly, yeah. but, yes. uh, but it is important that uh, however that comes out, uh, it's pretty clear that it has the potential to uh, change tomorrow's game dramatically. So uh, everybody seems to be okay now that the uh, game is over. Everybody's kind of relaxed. And uh, you know, say, that being said, too, I mean Connor Parr is more than a capable goaltender. Oh goal yeah, tender. absolutely. He's, uh, you know, I know myself and the rest of the boys. We have our full faith and confidence in him that he can uh, he can definitely help guide us oh. to a victory. Kyle, that is um, you've had media training, haven't you? All right. <laughs> No, that was you're exactly right. I mean, it's not it's not exactly going to be an easy thing, but uh, but if candidate an MVP candidate for the league to you know he yes, gave up four goals. There's but. no there's no doubt that losing a Matt Canada affects your lineup. That's, yes, you so know, we we can agree on that one for but sure. The uh, the good part for the Red Devils is if you cancel. Thanks, guys. The uh, the boys are saying uh, their goodbyes. We'll see them tomorrow. But the uh, the, it was four to four those second two periods so I, I don't want to be too like overly optimistic in this case because they're really it's easy to go four four when you've got a five goal lead it doesn't really matter you yes. just play smartly and don't give up anything however the red devils have the opportunity to uh, steal three points off of them in their own barn here and make a difference or the Swarm continue this tirade through the league. I did want to mention one other thing before we go off air. The um, uh, the uh, uh, schedule for you guys have been, it's just gnarly. You guys are playing, you're done at July 31st, if I'm not mistaken. Correct, yeah. So our last game is on my birthday on July 30th. Okay, there and, it is. And, uh, and that's it. We're off. I mean, you know, if we can continue this, play well enough, and get ourselves a playoff spot, we won't play until the beginning of September. Yeah, exactly. So we'll be so, off the entire month of, month of August. Yeah, so uh, yeah, it's interesting. I've got the schedule here for the uh, Red Devils as well. So the uh, <clears throat> interestingly, the uh, the Devils will play again, obviously, tomorrow here. But uh, <clears throat> it's a pretty balanced schedule. They get a, a week off and then uh, play the Akumaka, which, of course, doesn't count officially in the in the uh, standings, and then the next big one after that is the uh, Stampede. Right uh, thereafter, so uh, a lot of a lot of room to grow and move here for the Red Devils. But Botany, they had to come out, and they've done exactly that. So and it's always difficult to come into another team's barn, and you know you have to set the pace early, set the tone early, and I think uh, I think we did a good job doing that today. They did indeed. So we're going to wrap it up right there as the Samboni comes out and the. Uh, all the uh, other skaters are going to come back out and enjoy themselves this evening at the Alpine Ice. Uh, uh, I'd like to make sure the... Uh, <coughs> Let's see here. There we go. I'll march. Fantastic job today. I just want to say thank you for that. The uh, sending you down here and saying, hey, go up there and hang out with that old guy up there. <laughs> Much appreciated. Well, thank you to thank you, Matt. I really appreciate you making this very easy for me. You know, it's my first game, and uh, you've made it oh. super easy and seamless. And I if just want to thank you for your 
your expertise and your, your advice to yeah. a rookie? Well, if that's your first game, uh, you got a lot of them in front of you once your hockey career is done. So I'm looking forward <laughs> to it. Uh, that'll do it for us. We're going to see you tomorrow at exactly the same time. Uh, we'll start at about 4.30 New Zealand time on the stream on YouTube. We'll catch you then. Uh, until then, we will see you. Uh, and Kyle, you'll be back tomorrow. So I will be back tomorrow. Right, we'll see you then. Take night, care, everybody. everybody.